from News Channel 5. Well, cookie exchanges are popular around Christmas time. My guest today is St. Louis pastry chef Julia Usher. Julia is the director of the International Association of Culinary Professionals and also the author of this beautiful new book called Cookie Swap. And you have many chances to meet Julia this weekend. I'll tell you about those at the end of this interview. Thank you for joining hey, us. Thanks for having me. So tell us how you first got interested in cookie swaps. Well, I grew up in a community in the, on the East Coast where communal cooking was a huge part of what we did every Christmas season. So not just cookie swaps, but potlucks, open houses of all kinds. And I think the really lovely thing about cookie swaps is not just the recipes and cookies you bring home, but the stories that are gathered and the people that you meet uh, surrounding those cookies. So it's a huge fabric of my life just because of that emotional content and upbringing. Well, there's so much great stuff in the book for uh, children, too, because you're advocating cookie swaps all year round. Right, right. I mean, wh why wait for Christmas to enjoy <laughs> cookies? I think they're a great excuse to bring people together all, all, all times of year. So there's everything from a Valentine's swap to an Easter swap to, of course, a traditional cookie swap and I, at Christmas time. And I've got some of those things here today. Well, let's do a little show and tell of everything that you have brought along here well, on the table, maybe great. starting here. What I brought today primarily are ideas for how to take your swap over the top. So to make it a little bit distinguished from the range of swaps occurring this time of year and it's all in the details so by over the top i don't mean expensive or lavish but really things that you craft yourself with things easily found at home or at craft stores so on this bulletin board i have an idea for invitations um, again i think um, codifying the recipes and bringing them home is really important so this idea is um, a little recipe file basically oh, where fantastic. the recipes are collected in advance and bound very simply on the edge with nothing more than an ornament that i ha happen to have stocked and a few um, glass beads. Because when you go to a cookie swap, you bring so many dozens of cookies to share, right. and then you take other people's recipes right. home, and the cookies. Exactly. How far in advance can people start making their cookies? Oh, I adv advocate doing it as far in advance as possible. I, I am, though, an advocate of freshness, mm -hmm. um, so I like to bake off as close to the event as possible, and I always like the having lingering aromas in the kitchen mm -hmm. when people arrive. But it's super easy, to, but especially with rolled cookies, to make the doughs in advance, package them up into discs, wrap them tightly in plastic, and then foil them and freeze them. And they have very long freezing life. Um, and then you can roll and bake closer to order. That's a great way to do it. How long can you freeze the cookie dough? Oh, like uh, from it, it, it varies by cookie, but I, one to two months with a rolled sugar cookie dough is certainly acceptable. Well, we have a great um, picture that we've put into our graphic system about the table spread, because really, with advanced planning, it's a great way to have a party. It's right. actually kind of low maintenance. Right, right, right. Um, do we have time to show a couple of yeah, other? Oh, thank you. Yes. Um, that's a Christmas holiday um, exchange that you'll see featured in the book. In the center, I've got some lovely um, stacks of sugar cookies. And then let's look at these cookies while we still have time, because you're suggesting giving cookies as a gift, if you want, in an ornament box. Right. Or I, I'm just uh, trying to step up the party notch. So rather than sending things home in the ordinary holiday tin or on a paper plate with plastic wrap, why not use things you already have? I happen to be a huge collector, so I've got a number of vintage ornament boxes, but you can take everyday ones and just dress them up with a little ribbon and some Christmas ornaments and you've got a really lovely carrying container. In here I've got a ginger snap thumbprint cookie which was also featured in that table spread you showed uh, and in the book of course. And then tell us about some of the recipes that people will find in your book and on your website. Oh, there's a wide variety. I try to have something for everyone ranging from a bar cookie to um, more of a rolled or shaped cookie, which is what the thumbprint is, um, to cut out sugar cookies. The book also includes a lot of decoration um, ideas. So how do you um, apply the icing to sugar cookies? Each chapter is a signature sugar cookie, if you will. So there's decorating techniques. Now, all weekend long, Julia, you're going to be having book signings and actually doing demonstrations, yes, yes, right? Yes, yes, I want to give our viewers some oh, of those. Oh, great, thank you. Uh, Julia has a book signing today at the Holiday Magic Expo at America Center, and she'll be there from 3 to 9 p.m. And that is really great fun for the kids, too, because there are all, kind of ride, all kinds of rides there. Then you can meet Julia at Puddinhead Books in Webster Groves from 1 to 3 p.m. on Saturday. Then she'll be at the annual Antique Row Cookie Spree on Cherokee Street. You're going to be busy this yeah, weekend. Yeah, it's when a busy weekend, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> and you can it's check out time after all, all right? this information, all of her book signings, and some recipes at our website, which is juliausher.com. Thank you so hey, much for joining us. Thanks for having us. me.